Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass by humbly asking God to forgive our sins. Let us be sorry for all the sins that we have committed, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, The people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love I have loved you, 
so I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen will call out on Mount Ephraim. Rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, The Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn your mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. 
and her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, what does the evil do to us? According to the Canaanite woman who approached Jesus, as we heard in our gospel today, the devil torments us. He approached Jesus asking for the healing of her daughter. And he said to Jesus, Have pity on me, Lord. My daughter is tormented by a demon. Demons torment us. Demons cause suffering, anguish, sorrow, and distress. Demons make our life unreasonably difficult. That is why this Canaanite mother persisted in asking Jesus for the healing of her daughter. And Jesus saw her great faith and because of her great faith in Jesus, Jesus granted her request. Her daughter was healed. This is also the experience of the people of Israel. Their sins caused so much evil upon them as a nation. Because of their sins, because they turned away from God, they were exiled into Babylon. They were dispersed. They were scattered all over. But God, in His mercy, looked upon them and restored them. That is why in our first reading today, we heard the promise of God to His people who were in exile. God will restore them. God will bring them back to their own land. God will unite them as a people. What does the evil one do to us? The evil one makes us suffer. The evil one scatters. The evil one causes disunity. The evil one brings about sorrow and distress. That is what the devil does best. Ang demonyo nagdadala ng paghihirap ng kaguluhan, ng pagkakawatak-watak, ng pag-aaway at hindi pagkakasundo. Yan ang ginagawa ng demonyo ng kasamaan sa ating buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, like the daughter of the Canaanite woman, we have to admit that we too are tormented by so many demons in our times. Our society, even our own families and our own lives, our communities are beset by demons. There are so many evil bringing about trouble in our times. We are confronted with the evil of deception and lies, the evil of arrogance and pride, the evil of greed and selfishness, the evil of malice and lust, 
the evil of hunger for power and prestige. There are so many evils prowling around us. What are we going to do? Are we just to keep quiet? Are we just to, to look at how the devil torments us? Are we not doing anything in order to free ourselves from the torments of the evil one? Let us imitate what the Canaanite woman did. Let us approach Jesus. And let us tell Jesus, Lord, we are tormented by so many demons. Have pity on us. By ourselves, we cannot conquer the demons in our society. Only God can do it. And so let us put our faith in God. Let us imitate the great faith of this woman. Let us have persistent faith in the Lord. For with faith, we know God will bring about restoration, unity, healing, and salvation to all of us. With great faith, God will free us from all the devils around us because in the end, only God wins. Please stand. Christ Jesus tore down the barrier separating Jews from Gentiles. As one people of one new and eternal covenant, let us pray to the God who unites us. And for every prayer, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church throughout the world may become a channel of God's mercy, peace, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that mothers who are anxious and deeply worried about their children's health may never fail to turn to Jesus for support and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may show care and concern for suffering people, regardless of their status, race, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers, and we pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, you wish, your wish is to unite all people. May we always be sensitive to the needs of others and never exclude anyone from our company. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, Make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Wednesday evening Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock on our Facebook page. Our host for this evening will be the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of Nuestra Señora de la Asuncion in Bulacan, Bulacan. This is in preparation for the solemnity of the Assumption of our Blessed Virgin Mary which we will celebrate on August 15. And so we invite you to gather as a family, as a community, and together let us implore the maternal intercession of Mary for ourselves, for our families, and for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.